Bob! Howdy hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with Omega Wolf. God! <laughs> this is not Halo. <laughs> you can't do that here. <laughs> uh, so we're fighting um, a tent? Yes, with the power of friendship. With the power of friendship. Do 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 do. See, I could actually just figure out what he's weak to. Or we could okay. use, or we could cheat, <laughs> and uh, just look it up. Uh, we have the. This will probably be faster. Ooh. Uh, uh oh. Oh, too bad. I win anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we lost. We lost our our most important party member. <laughs> the the buffest member of our party. Don't worry, guys. Just finish him off for me. <laughs> Send me out with a bang. Ooh, what you say? <laughs> 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 have you ever seen that? I, I don't. From Cow so. Cowboy Bebop, the that meme. No. You, okay. Do you even know what Cowboy Bebop is? Yes. Okay. I've I've seen like the first couple episodes. It's wonderful, and I don't know why I ever stopped watching. <laughs> um, I haven't watched a whole lot of anime. But, um, a jar of fly honey? Yes. Flies drop, or bees drop honey, or bee honey. And, <laughs> hi there. Hi, trunks. Uh, Didn't know you were a part of Earthbound. So where, where's the, ha where's the hand? Yes. Who, whose hand? Handsome Tom, hey. Brain shock. It did not work on rarity. What is brain shock? I don't know. Every time I've come across it, it doesn't do anything. Hmm. We should probably revive. Um, That's why I'm going to the hospital. Oh, the for. hospital. Cost what eighty dollars to revive? Something. We got to do a prison break. <laughs> He's in prison again. <laughs> so I had. Uh, we just couldn't keep him out. <laughs> there was a back when I was in high school. There was a, a German foreign exchange student that I knew, and she was obsessed with the show Prison Break. <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, um, I tried watching it, and I was like, okay, I, I can see why people would like this. It's just not my thing. So, I mean, it's, yeah. objectively, it's a pretty okay show. So, but, uh, that was a while ago, man. That was, like, 10, 10, 11 years ago? I'm old. <laughs> I just remember, I think, yeah, there was a German exchange student at my high school, and I think it was in a math class. Mm -hmm. And just, like, Somebody cursed right next to him. I was just like, don't teach him curse words. <laughs> <laughs> and he was just like, I already know them. <laughs> or something along the lines. I was like, dang it. Those are first words we learn. <laughs> <laughs> it's Russian. I know. I can't. You know, what is. Uh, I, let's see. I've, I've been mimicking the Russian accent for so long that, like, when I think of, like, a European accent, that's kind of the accent that I go for now. <laughs> Uh, let's see, German accent. Oh, good, we just got called by Apple Kid. Oh, cool. Zombie so, paper. Zombie paper. Oh. Uh, just put it on the floor of a giant tent or something. Uh, you can catch a whole bunch of zombies. Okay, so we need to go back to Apple Kid. Uh, p the mock pizza delivery man to deliver the zombie paper to you. <sighs> okay. So, yeah, that's... I what, think we what, have to literally wait. What very specific inventions? What do you oh, mean? Oh, hey, a giant tent. Oh, look. What the? <laughs> okay. While delivering pizza, this weird guy asked me to help him out. He wanted me to deliver to someone named Spurkle, who's one around three. No one else knows about this, right? What the? What? I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> My phone, I guess. What is oh, it? it's, I got an email. Uh, no one else knows about this, right? Let's just pretend you're Spurkle, and I'll give this to you. Oh, hello, Sparkle. Just go along with me on this one, okay? I made a decision that you're Sparkle no matter what. <laughs> well, it's a good thing that we ran into him. Yeah. <laughs> we got the zombie paper. Paper. That's right, Sparkle. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, he handed it to... He just handed it to a random old anybody, which just happened to be the correct person. I've done my duty and given you Apple Kids thing of a jig. Well, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> the building literally pushed him out of the way. <laughs> So, uh, what were we talking about? Uh, German. Yeah, uh, so you, I don't, you're okay, mistaking so, Germans for Russians. No, well, okay. <laughs> so, the Russians owned Germany at one time. They owned, like, 
you know, because the you know Berlin airlift and all that. <laughs> yeah, you know, after after World War Two, you know, things. So the thing is, planes were almost landing on each other. Yeah. During that. Yeah. So you know what's interesting is um, there is one empire that successfully invaded Russia during the winter. Uh, Three guesses what it was. Cossacks? No. They were hardly an empire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, it can't be Germans because they failed. Yeah. So the, the, the two notable ones that failed were, were Germany and Napoleon. <laughs> um, so that's why it's kind of a meme not to invade Russia during the winter, because the two greatest, the two, well, not the greatest, the two most violent warlords <laughs> of Europe <laughs> invaded Russia during the winter and failed. But can you guess who did invade Russia during the winter and did not fail? Uh, I know you're waiting on Caesar? bated breath. Uh, no. The farthest he got up was, what, um, like near uh, Romania, I think? Huh. I mean, that's why it's called Romania, is because Rome. Like, they see themselves as kind of the closest to what yeah, Rome is. Yeah, so they're all out here because the flypaper did this. Oh. And it's lagging. <laughs> so, cool. Yeah, this area does lag. Ugh, we caught the zombies. <laughs> well, now everybody's out and about because we caught all the zombies, right? Uh, no, they're always there. Oh, okay. Don't shout too loud. What do you want? I've got what you need. <laughs> oh, baby, you. You got <laughs> what I need. But you say he's just a friend. You say uh, he's right, just a friend. Go. Oh, baby, you. What? You got what I need. You want drugs? <laughs> <laughs> you don't know the song? Anyway. No. What were we talking about? Right, Germans. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, okay, so. what? Uh, two more guesses. Who, I, who? I don't know, I don't. You know more countries than just Germany and France. And, I guess, uh, the Cossacks. You you know. Once I say it, you're going to be like, oh, right, yeah. What, Finland? No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? No. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Kidding, Finland got controlled a whole bunch of times. They did, yeah. Well, I mean, they fought they they fought off the Russians pretty well, actually. I mean, the the I, I, forget, I forget the what the actual. Um, oh, thank goodness. Uh, Get away from me! So it, Take it's a like bath. So the Russians sent countless soldiers into Finland, and just the fin the Finnish defended themselves pretty well. I mean, they I think they eventually lost, but the uh, the amount of soldiers that Finland killed, like the. Like, the ratio of, like, Russians to Finnish people killed was astounding. Um, but, uh, apparently it's a lot easier to fight a defensive war in the snow <laughs> than it is to uh, defend in, in something else, I guess. I well, don't know. the thing is, uh, no matter what, if you can pack snow hard enough, it's basically just water. Yeah. Which means it's going to stop the... Stop the bullets well, eventually. Well, so, th so think about it this way. The Russians were wearing brown uniforms <laughs> in the winter, right? You know what, what color the, the uniforms the Finnish were wearing? White. White! <laughs> Why would you fight in the snow with any... <laughs> nope, 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 um, nope. I mean, at least fight in gray uniforms, like the Germans did. You know, yeah, at, like the at the very least. blended in. So the answer to the question of uh, who managed to invade Russia in the winter and did not fail is the Mongols. The, huh. Mon the Mongols invaded Russia in the winter and they succeeded. Odd. Yep. Well, did they just like go from underneath? Up? You know, I'm not sure actually, but um, they got their horses there somehow. <laughs> When in I mean, doubt, when I'm, they get their horses. I mean, really, when you have horses, nothing can stop you. Well, until you get tanks. Well, even then, you know, I mean... <laughs> I mean, a horse can stomp down a tank like it's not nobody's business, you know? No, it can't. <laughs> yeah, I mean... You ever seen a horse? Yes. <laughs> there. I have ridden horses! <laughs> you ever tried stomping down a tank with a horse? <laughs> no. Then you're doing it wrong.
How do you how do you know until you try? Next time you see a horse and a tank together, get on that horse. We just defiled a grave. Ta-da! There's a skip sandwich. It's a pretty fresh sandwich. Must have been made by the zombies pretty recently. Maybe. Zombie chefs making sandwiches. No, no. That is a lot of zombies. But yeah, seriously, horses. Um, they are scary animals. Dang it! Uh oh. So what happens if you so? Zombie possessor. Uh oh. So the, yeah, no. Can the zombie possessors take us over? Uh, they can cause a little haunting to happen. Which is a status effect. It's sort of is. Oh okay. Um. So all of those zombies there are they actual dead people? I guess. Okay, so like a lot of the population of this town is dead, and the and the people aren't like freaking out. And that's kind of weird. Where did all these zombies come from? Okay, they had to have either come from this town or come from somewhere else. And the fact that the zombie menace is limited to this town... Unless are the zombies... Like, because there's... They're a, being controlled. Are the zombies... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Did they pop out of the graves? I don't know. I mean, because that would make the most sense. The, like, because when... For there to be enough zombies, either the town population, enough of them would have to die, or they would have to pop out from the graves. Um, the latter seems more likely, given the scenario. Although, this yeah. this this is earthbound. It doesn't have to make any sense at all. It's not meant to make sense. <laughs> America doesn't make sense. Eagle Land. Has it ever? Oh, Eagle Land. <laughs> Sense you make none. <laughs> 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 oh great, he's going up pretty fast there. Run, 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 Oh, it's a zombie dog. Oh come on! Just spawns right there. Um So just use the um use Psy Friend. Destroy them. Let's see here. Fire? Do you think fire would destroy zombies? Uh, I'm trying to get rid of the ghosts before they can put anything down. So, what do you think the, uh... I'm just trying to demolish them. Because the thing is, the little ghosts don't go away. And they can randomly decide to hurt you or freeze you up. And oh. you can't do a thing about it. Psy freeze. Very nice. 444 damage. Wow. Perfect. So they must be weak to freeze somehow. Yep, even though they reach out with a high, with an icy hand. I mean, it, it makes sense that, like, say there were zombies, like in real life, right? Yeah. Um, assuming that they follow... That, that, that the only difference is, is, you know, maybe they're magical or whatever, cool. I mean, they would have to be for zombies to be real, but... Um, if you were to freeze a zombie, it wouldn't be able to move, right? Still, so, same yeah. as a human. So I guess that would make sense. Well, also it, it wouldn't hurt them. It wouldn't like, be generating heat, really. Yeah. Or not in any like grand way. Hmm. Let's give these. To f oh wait. Oh, never mind. Can he what? I was. I thought it was in rarities thing. But actually, you're just a commoner. I am the mortal enemy of your kind. I am an adult. <laughs> what is... What, <laughs> mini barf? The barf is... So, I'm trying to make sense of what's going on here. It's a pile of barf. Right. Um, but it said something about the fly honey and being our friend, but not really. But we're just a commoner. It thought we were friends. And then it realized that we're just commoners. Oh, okay. Because we had the fly honey. Wow, that's a lot of damage. It's not dead. We did like 400 something damage to it. Uh. Fire? Kill I with mean, fire? What kills barf? I don't know. Okay, get inside the mind of a Japanese game developer. <laughs> what would kill barf in America? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> The thing is, I'm not sure I want to get into that line. <laughs> There's a lot of things already that are weird in Japanese culture, and I'm not sure I want to get into the line of a Japanese oh. game developer. Oh, you have no idea. <laughs> and I, I know you. 
You've delved not as far into this as I have. Shh. You don't want to delve that far. Uh, we should probably call the episode before this we talk. Guy, before we talk to that Texan man. He is all the capitalist. <laughs> e okay, so either this man is a German or he's a Texan. Probably a Texan. <laughs> okay, so this is Frackbox. This is Meg Wolf. Have a great day.